I'm sure the bastard is not getting his virgins. He's not getting the chance of dancing hula hu with his virgins in heaven. Rather, I'm sure the bastard's ass is being burned by the angels in hell. Yes, I'm talking about the killer who killed Samuel Patty for showing some depictions and cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad. How can anyone be annoyed or how can anyone be disturbed or feel insulted for drawing Prophet Muhammad when no confirmed image is available of the Prophet? When no one drew Prophet Muhammad's picture when he was alive? Then how come such bastards get annoyed? It's simply because they have weak mind. They can't look away. They cannot just walk away because they feel like a Spider-Man. Somebody is saying something far away. They feel buzzes in their heads because they have cuckoos in their heads. They, because they have devils sitting in their heads. These bastards do not belong to any religion. They have no color. They have no shape and they have no shame. But the question is, how come French government allowed such a family on the French soil? When this family clearly had connections with the Islamic State. This bastard's sister ended up with the Islamic State by becoming their bride, jihadi bride, in 2014. Knowing all this, how could French government, government be so fooled by such bastards? over and over and over again. If you don't like it, why the fuck do you come here? If you cannot digest criticism, why the fuck do you come here? If you don't have the mind to look away, walk away, then why the fuck do you come here? If you don't agree with something, we have a reasonable mind. We talk about it. We have patience and we discuss about it. And we have a government, democracy, where we go to the parliament and tell our representatives to say what we want to hear. We don't go ahead and kill people, bastards, fuckers. If we don't like it here, if we don't like the freedom, and if we don't have the tolerance, why the fuck do you come here? Why the fuck do you ashamed our, our religion? There's not a single verse in the entire Quran where it says, if somebody insults the Prophet, go ahead and kill him. There is not a single verse in the entire Quran that Prophet Muhammad himself held sword ever. Then why the fuck do you do it? There is not a single verse in the entire Quran where it says, Prophet Muhammad is to shout Allah Akbar. Then why the fuck do you shout that when you kill someone innocent? Why the fuck do you do that? Why the fuck do you come here? Bastards. Rather, in the Quran, in Surah 88, verse 22, it clearly says to the Prophet, you are not their controller, you are not their ruler. But how come they, these bastards end up killing people? When the Quran clearly says, like Rafiddin, there is no compulsion in religion. It's all because of the Hadiths. The Quran says, the Quran is comprehensive, it's full, it's complete. It is not unclear. Chapter 12, verse 1. Chapter 18, verse 1. And the Quran doesn't even need any hadith. But the bastards Abbasid Caliphs, the bastards Umayyads, enacted hadiths, compiled, fabricated hadiths and sira and biography of Muhammad to their taste, to their liking, almost 300 years after the death of Muhammad. Within 50 years of Muhammad's death, in 683, the Caliph's soldiers killed most of the best followers of Muhammad, butchered Muhammad's own family, and enacted a character which had nothing to do with the original Muhammad, as we can read from the Quran. Rather, the Quran says Muhammad was a shy man. He was too shy to tell of his own wives at times. He was too shy even to tell of his own followers not to approach his wives when they were in their homes. Killing never solves anything. It never did. But these pastors will never understand that. 
that killing someone rather makes that man a martyr in the eyes of the millions. I am a Muslim. I am ashamed of such bastards. And if I was in Paris, I would have joined the rally of protest against such failure of the French government in checking bastards who infiltrate into the Western freedom.